And I was like, because I didn't see you guys had any Glen Cairns. And they go, oh, you need to talk to this guy. And he comes, That's like, awesome. This guy comes out and he goes, hey, man, uh, you drinking whiskey? He's like, yeah. He goes, why are you drinking out of a wine glass? Because <laughs> I didn't see you have whiskey glasses. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, this is Sean, and we're doing another whiskey review. Uh, not streaming this one, so uh, we can still curse. <laughs> we'll still curse, but this will be pre-recorded and it'll probably be edited a little better than our long-running format stuff probably um do you want to do the honors no nope. okay sean is actually getting first blush at this same as me uh, i was in trader joe's which uh the founder actually just died so yeah, yeah recipes but uh, i was in trader joe's came across kentucky best bourbon for 12.99 i was like you know what i like the fact that it's all fancy on the label i'm gonna give it a try And uh, so I, I'm, I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's terrible, but we're going to give it a go. I, I found some reviews online, but most of it was generic. Okay. So that's about it, really. Okay. Uh, then do you want to give descriptors as to what we're drinking here today? Yeah. Well, according to the label, it's aged four years. It's straight bourbon. Um, what does it say at the top? I forgot. It's a new charred American oak, just uh, aged four years, distilled from Heartland Grains, 100% American-made straight bourbon whiskey. I'm not sure what the Heartland Grains does to anything. Well, I'm pretty sure Heartland is just the region in America. Yeah, but I meant, I don't know if Heartland Grains versus somewhere else. I don't know if Heartland is even the name of a grain. Yeah, right. Or, or if it's just a region. Maybe it's made from rice. <laughs> corn. Definitely I corn. definitely, I definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> We're going to get into the, the Dustin Hoffman uh, Rain Man off. Actually, I, I was uh, channeling Animaniacs. Corn. Oh, yeah. Corn. Definitely corn. Yeah, but it's, it's all the same thing. It's pulled, it's pulled from the same source. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So, I don't know anything about it. Um, I mean, the, the color, it's obviously got some coloring in it. No American whiskey can't have Oh, color. that's right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I, I like the color. Um, I didn't really look at the legs on the bottle, but... Kentucky Best delivers a distinctive wheated bourbon taste, rich with caramel and honey flavors and hints of oak. Your search for smooth is over. Yes! Oh, no. Yeah, that's always like, you're going to really like this band. <laughs> uh, what I love is it's... What it's correlated to... You should come see this band. Yes. They're okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, uh, what? I, 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 Lots I, of enthusiasm yeah. there, Chief. Yeah. Um, I, I love it. Wheated. Wheated. Now, I wanted to argue a little bit. A distinctive wheated bourbon taste... Distinctive. Oh, crap, I missed that. Distinctive means yes. it's just unique. That's like doesn't mean good or bad. That's like just flavor. Unique. Yeah. Ugh. Distinctive wheated bourbon taste. Well then. So it means they're going after something yes. there. Incidentally, uh, I want to say I, I I don't know about you. It seems like there's an uptick in the amount of uh, whiskey tribe videos being put out by Daniel and Rex. You think so? I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing more of them pop up on my feed. Honestly, I haven't noticed. I haven't been watching as much. I haven't been keeping up Tribe. That's my bad. But uh, I just want to say good on you guys. And I they seem to be going toward, uh, like, hey, let's introduce this total whiskey noob to whiskey and, and get his thoughts and, and things like that. So I'm enjoying that. Well, sir, shall we slaunch it or wait until we drink? I'm going with the nose first. Okay. Hmm. My immediate thought, as you know, I like my whiskey on the rocks sometimes. Mm. It smells like chilled whiskey to me. It smells like whiskey that's been slightly watered down. So what I take away from that is it's relatively one note for me. Yeah, it immediately is not smelling complex. And what I'm getting is not honey, it's not light, it's medicinal cherry. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of I'm getting like baking spices. No, I'm getting like cherry cough syrup mixed with <laughs> artificially sweet 
crappy 99 cent cherry pies that you get from the grocery store that are in the right. the white wrappers. <laughs> and smells got like a little glaze on them. It smells like something pie hole whiskey would put out. <laughs> it does, yeah. It has that very reminiscent, uh, uh, artificially mm-hmm. sweet. Oh, definitely got oil in it. I got some legs. Um, and this is really an experiment by me of just, that looks interesting. It's not too expensive. Let's get it. I, I would say it's definitely a, probably a bottom shelf bourbon without tasting it, uh, just based off of what we've learned so far. If I'm jumping in, I'm going deeper. I'm picking up some red apple notes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, cut apple slices. Cut apple slices with uh, not necessarily a pie, but maybe a little brown sugar. Um, not baking spices, but like candied apples. Or like those apple pies that are coated in all the, sh- the mm-hmm. frost, the, the, the sugar in the, in the stores. Yeah, that was the thing I was talking about earlier. Oh, sorry. Way to pick up on that. Yeah. You know, I you have a little flashback of when I just said it. <laughs> Black and white. <clears throat> slowed down the time. Don't tempt me. Uh, incidentally, for those of you watching uh, from Room 6, because I also post this to Whiskey Tribe, I want to thank you. Past 100 subscribers. I'll be posting my interview with my 100th subscriber soon. Um, and her name's Pamela Jean, who's, she's also a touring musician, so it, it all worked out. It was really awesome. Uh, there was definitely a bit of a video chicanery, the party and everything. Well, on that note, I'm going to jump into this, but I also want to wish you uh, a happy 100 subscribers, and here's to 100, 100 more. So, a thousand. <laughs> all right, Our math so checks out. <laughs> Can math check. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, that note. Mm-hmm. Yes, we just made a, a choir. It's <laughs> first you know the Swing Low Sweet Cherry. Swing it Low Sweet Cherry. It's cherry. It's not as abrasive as I thought it would be. But well, done. not as medicinal. It, it just not as burny either. It's just like it's actually pretty smooth. Maybe two notes. Um, I'm not, the cherry disappeared for me. Yeah, the medicine didn't. It's got that, Mm -hmm. it's got that medicinal taste to it. It's metallic. Yeah. It's young, it's shiny, there's some really light wine notes. I don't want to say red wine, but there's like rosé notes in there. You know what? It's weird. You know what this reminds me, or what what it makes me think of? This tastes like it was actually aged in a metal vat kind of thing. Yeah. And then finished in the barrel. Like that metallic tang that you get from like drinking out of say uh, a flask. A metal flask. But not nec- not like pot still. Because mm. pot still can have some of those those coppery no, I'm shiny, talking stainless shiny steel. Shiny. Yeah. Yeah like industrial. That's it, what it tastes industrial. It tastes homogenized? No not homogenized. Um, it tastes clean. Like, like it, sanitized. Sanitized. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. And everything about it is young, bright, shiny, brittle, harsh. Right. I personally... I'm not into it. I wouldn't call it Kentucky's Best. I think this made me think of Milwaukee's Best. <laughs> <laughs> it's the patch blue ribbon of whiskey. No, PBR's not too bad, but yeah. Milwaukee's Best. Oh, oh, you mean the, okay, the brand. The brand. Yes. When you say it's the best, that's, yeah. that's a really... Not good sign. That's like being a diner saying, we have the best apple pie in the state. No. You, 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 you better... Authentic... Have, there be awards. Authentic 50s diner. Right. Because everything's being cooked in fucking lard. Yeah. I'm not even I'm thinking not, about baking notes. So, this right. Grangestone had more range than this. Yeah. Which me, was saying something. Try again. Yeah. There's a little bit more of the uh, iodine medicine type. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. It is yeah. not, it should not be called a Kentucky Best. Uh, I realized that they, they didn't do apostrophe S. They just said it's Kentucky Best. It's not Kentucky's Best. But you, you should have had like winner of this award, winner of this award, if you're going to be that bold and call it that. Shame. I'm going to see what a couple drops of water do to it. I'm afraid this, like, if you tried to put it into a cocktail, I was just thinking about, I think would, would an old-fashioned work? Would something else work with this? And I was like, 
I think it, once you once you add anything to it, because it is 40%. Yeah. Oh, the rats are getting bigger in your ceiling. Yeah, I met my neighbors the other day. <laughs> Good peoples. Good peoples. Loud kid. They have tile upstairs. That's why. Oh. Uh, so it's only 80 proof. Once you add it into a cocktail, it doesn't have anything, it doesn't really have anything to stand on. I think it's, hey, I let, think, let me have an old fashioned at, the, at a bar or at a venue somewhere. I think this would, this would be the well whiskey for a well old fashioned. Right. Like a $3 old fashioned. For, for $12.99 at Trader Joe's, I would rather have the, the nine buck Evan Williams that I favor. This is 12 bucks. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. I'm trying to think what whiskey I can get for twelve bucks. Yeah. I mean, you're you're paying. I might be able to get Devil's Cut for twelve. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go with Devil's Cut instead of this. That being sure, said, I can easily be talked out of this into something else right. for the same price point. That being said, if someone was new to bourbon, this wouldn't be a bad intro. Yeah, it would. It would. Yeah. Well, let me rephrase. I think I think for everyone who who asks about the intro to whiskey, like, hey, if I wanted to try something that's this and this and this, don't do that. Interesting. Don't get the middle of the road. Get the high-end version of it. This is what bourbons could be. This is what scotch could be if you, like, paid the right amount. Yeah. Because then you need to taste bottom barrel at the end. Like, just the abysmal shit that no one should ever drink. That's true. Start middle of the road. No. Start right, at the start top. Higher, rather. Start at the top. Then go low Then show. drink the bottom. Then find out where you fit in the middle. Right. And if you're lucky enough to taste the rarefied air, like, it's going to ruin you. <laughs> the line for me, I see, is not... The fifty dollar line, like anything under fifty bucks and anything on over, mm -hmm. it's like there's up to thirty five, and then there's the thirty five to sixty, and then there's the fifty five to eighty. There are three zones right. that people like to stick in when they buy per bottle. And if I'm gonna dip my toes into anything above the thirty five, yeah. yep. I'm probably saying, you know, "Oh, I don't mind." Is there a flight? Do you I don't have flight. I don't mind jumping into the fifty dollars stuff. Right. But if I don't, if I'm, if I totally don't know if I'm, if I'm going it, anything above that, if I'm going fifty-five to like yeah. eighty, yeah, I'll need to try it once. Yeah, flight is, is a great way to do that. Um, anytime a place offers a flight, I'm like, you immediately went up in my book a little bit. You went up just a little. We bit. We should try and do a flight of all bottom shelf. We'll do bottom shelf bourbons. We'll okay. do bottom shelf scotches. We'll mm -hmm. do bottom shelf Irish. We should go somewhere and do a flight. We should, and then we should, yeah, we should go somewhere to go do a flight and then get good whiskey. <laughs> we'll do bad whiskeys on our own. We'll go somewhere else to do something good. There you go. Um, yeah, um, if I was rating that out of five, I'd give it a one. Yeah, I, sad. One out of five, Josh heads, definitely. Um, that's right. That's my. That's my. Meat. Would I buy it with my own money again? And well, let's I, see. If I'm, I'm if if I'm running a pair of sticks or eight bucks. Two pairs of sixteen. That's that's four more than this. I would still rather buy two pairs of sticks than one bottle of that whiskey. Drummer. Yeah. Oh, but I'm I like. A, to, but a, I like to drink. So yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not like, tickling my fancy. I, I'm gonna keep this around for when you like, don't like somebody and you want to no, hurt them. No, 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 no. For when I'm like, I don't know. I just want some bourbon. I don't want this. Is not a celebratory thing. I'm not. I don't want the good stuff. All right, I'll have some of this. You know what that is? That's a shot drinking whiskey. Yes. Let's see. Um, you know what? Ooh. We haven't done that on this channel. We've never done a We've shot of something. Because that's, that's the piece that's kind of the piece of purpose of what we're doing here. But, but oh, by the way, adding but, a little water. I absolutely believe that there are shot whiskeys and then there are sipping whiskeys. Oh, I agree. This is not a whiskey you want to sit down and like enjoy, <laughs> get used to, and get to know. Like, this right. is a. Uh, what do you call this is a this is a college night. But by the way, if you add, add a few drops of water, it actually brings out the sweet notes a little bit better. Did you open it up? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, like that. At least for me. Even then, it's still very oil heavy. I love how Sean is representing the two two of the major cities in the country: New York and Chicago. Oh, there you go. By the way, it's a little late by the time this comes out, but it had a heavy International Women's Day. and uh, I didn't make that face towards International Women's oh, I Day. Know. I made that face to the whiskey. Did you get any more sweeter notes? A little bit? I got like um, burned caramel. Really bitter. Really, really bitter. A little sweetness buried. Mm. Well, now I'm curious. There's like, a, there's like a moldy raspberry note in there. That sounds hideous. <laughs> I know. I can't get it out of my throat. And I can taste it. Mm. It's okay. going to get zero, zero Josh heads from me. 
Yeah. I just it just made it worse. Well, zero would mean it doesn't taste like whiskey at all. I would say zero point five to one. Yeah. We'll average it at a half a Josh head. I'm gonna have to get like a graphic going. So it's like do up you to my nose. I was gonna say, do you split it up up and down, or do you split it oh, up up and right? When you, you were gonna do a half a shot. Here. Well, no, I just poured what was in there. But what was your question about splitting? Oh, I, that's a good question. Yeah, would you split it left and right or, or top and down. down? Feel free to throw in the comments if you have a suggestion about my Josh head without a hat. <laughs> there's, there's a that's your hat. hat. That's your hat. Yeah. Um, oh, Josh hats. Yeah, five Josh hats. Ooh, so you I can, can do different hats. little. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we're gonna say this is a half a hat. Is it half? I like that. That rolls. It's up. a shitty hat. That rolls. If it's off only it's half a hat. It's half a hat. I think they're called tooks. Because no, it'll be the... this way. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Left and right. All right. Well, I'm curious to see what happens with this. Oh. Yeah. And then oh. we're gonna drum. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I got to teach after this. Yeah. If you're local, it's by the work way, day. if you're local and you want to learn drumming, piano. Oh yeah, guitar. this is a great time to do this when I'm drinking. And you like whiskey? This is the man. I do not drink during lessons no, unless something like this happens, and this happens because this is work. Yes. So with that, let's have a resounding clunk. It's not going to be a clink. Oh, maybe. I'm not going to tap it. <laughs> you filled me up full. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. At least I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of a good one. I'm thinking of a good one. Oh, okay. Yes. Probably. Uh, hmm. May you ever, may you ever be soft hearted, but never soft between the legs. Nice. Okay, here we go. It was better as a shot because it was over faster. Um, I didn't get quite as much burn on the shot for some reason. You know what? What? That's a shot drinking whiskey. That is totally a shot drinking. I whiskey. would I would walk up. Order a shot of that, drink it down. You, I just drank whiskey. That's the weirdest thing. That's a whiskey whiskey. Yeah, that's not a pretty. It's, it's not a light. It's not a. I'm gonna get interested by this. It's just. So, woo. Yeah, if you want a good, a decent bourbon shot, Kentucky Best Bourbon from Trader Joe's. You know what? I'm glad I. I I'm really glad you suggested it. It's something that. I've started doing now. I have to do it with that one. Uh, that's a little sneak peek into another video that's gonna be coming out soon. Yes, I've done it. I've done that one with a Glen Karen. I've never done a, a shot of it. Yep. And it, if I like go out and do a whiskey review, if I forget to bring this, I'll deal with whatever they give me. If I remember this, I asked for a wine glass, I, a beer tasting glass, also. The little guy. Yeah. Oh, a goblet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The goblet. I, I did that at the airport once because uh, I I didn't have this. I was traveling and um, I was at, I was at the airport in Dallas. And they were like, "Why are you drinking whiskey out of wine glass?" <laughs> and I was like, "Because I didn't You're, see you guys had any Glen Cairns." They go. Oh, you need to talk to this guy. And he comes, That's awesome. Like, this guy comes out and he goes, hey, man, uh, you drinking whiskey? It's like, yeah. He goes, why are you drinking out of a wine glass? Because <laughs> I didn't see you have whiskey glasses. You're in an airport. And he goes, oh, reaches under the bar, pulls out a rack of just Glen Cairns. goes, here you go. That's all. You're like, and I was you, like, whoa. whoa. Where was this? Dallas. DFW. Oh, man. I had the Balvini there, the double wood. How much was it at the airport? It's like it was, it was, it was like twelve bucks. Oh, that's not twelve bad. bucks. That's not bad at all. I did the Belvini Double Wood. I did uh, Red Breast Fifteen. I did uh, McAllen, aged in something. I don't remember what. The, what <laughs> aged in moss. I don't remember. I don't remember what the cast was. And then I did the Caribbean cast Belvini. I don't know. Speaking of which, what do you call a guy with no arms, no legs, buried in the ground in Scotland? Pete. There you go. And with that. Thanks for watching. It's a very short one today, but we got drumming to do. Um, really appreciate you hanging around. If you haven't subscribed already, please click down there. If you want to see more videos like this, click up there. Um, I'm going to put a link to your Sean Flam. Anybody wants to learn musicality sure. stuff or see what he's sure. doing? Sure. Um, right now, the YouTube videos are mostly just uh, myself playing or playing with bands, but I've got some stuff lined up for this year that's going to be new and exciting for me, but it's also going to be a lot of teaching, answering questions. It's going to be a whole plethora of information coming out this year. So Would you say you have a plethora of information? A plethora of information. Nice. Something about African and European swallows as well. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. Once again, if you want to check out more videos like this, click here. If you want to subscribe, please click here. Don't forget to ring that bell. Remember to be amazing. 
and uh, definitely shots. We'll see you next time on Room 6. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Ha, ha, ha.